Hello, Prime 96. First, uh, Unit 1, Properties of the Ratio. Objectives. Recognize the properties of the ratio. Recognize to simplify the terms of ratio. Form up. We have studied before the properties of fractions such as reduction, simplifying, conversion. The fraction doesn't change by multiplying or dividing. The numerator and the denominator by a number not equal zero. For example, simplifying little a 3 over 6. 3 and 6 are divisible by 3. So we will divide it 3 by 3 equals 1. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 3 over 6 equals half. Little b 10 over 15. 10 and 15 are divisible by 5 because it's unit u and time. So 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 10 over 15 equals 2 thirds. Properties of the ratio. Little a, the ratio has the same properties of fraction, reduction, simplifying, conversion. Little b, the ratio doesn't change by multiplying or dividing. The two terms by a number not equal zero. Little c, to find the ratio between two quantities, we, we must have the same units. Little d, the ratio between two quantities has no units. Example number one. Put each of the following ratios in its simplest form. Letter A, 10 to 15. 10 and 15 are divisible by 5 because it's units replaced 0 and 5. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. The ratio 2 to 3. Letter B, 30 to 20. Divisible by 10 because its unit siblings are 0. So 30 divided by 10 equals 3. 20 divided by 10 equals 2. The ratio is 3 to 2. Let us see 48 to 56. 48 even number, 56 even number. So we will divide them by 2. 48 divided by 2 equals 24. 56 divided by 2 equals 28. 24 and 28 are divisible by 4. So 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. The ratio 6 to 7. Letter D. 2100 to 3500. Both of them are divisible by 100. So 2100 divided by 100 equals 21. 3500 divided by 100 equals 35. 21 and 35 are divisible by 7. So 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. The ratio 3 to 5. Example number 2. Put each of the following ratios in its simplest form. Letter A 0 0.3 to 0.45. 0.3 is one decimal place. 0.45 two decimal places. So we will multiply them by 100. 0 0.3 by 100 equals 30. 0 0.45 by 100 equals 45. 30 to 45. 
30 and 45 are divisible by 5. 30 divided by 5 equals 6. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. 6 to 9. 6 and 9 are divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 10. The ratio 2 to 3. Let it be 1.4 to 42. 1.4 is one decimal place. 42, zero decimal place or whole number. So we will multiply them by 10. 1.4 by 10 equals 14. 42 by 10 equals 420. 14 to 420 are divisible by 7. So 14 divided by 7 equals 2. 420 divided by 7 equals 60. 2 to 60. 2 and 60 are divisible by because 2 and 60 are even numbers. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 60 divided by 2 equals 30. The ratio 1 to 30. Example number 3. Put each of the following ratios in its simplest form. Letter A, 1.5 to 2 thirds. We will change 1.5 from its decimal form to fractional form. 1.5 equals one and a half in fractional form. So I will write one and a half to two thirds. Step two, one and a half. We will multiply one by two and Adding one plus one and write the same numerator. One by two equals two plus one equals three. Three over what? Yes, over two. Two thirds. We will multiply two by three. And adding 1 plus 1 and write the same numerator. 2 by 3 equals 6. 6 plus 1 equals 7. 7 over 3. Okay. We will write 3 over 2. Divide 7 over 3. Okay. 3 over 2. Okay, the same fraction, we will write the same fraction, and the change divided by 2, multiply, and flip 7 over 3 to 3 over 7. Okay, 3 by 3 equals 9, 2 by 7 equals 14, 9 over 14 equals 9 to 14. The ratio is 9 to 14. Remember, when we change from larger units to smaller units, we multiply. When we change from smaller units to larger units, we divide it by. So, we must know this rule. Kilometer, we convert it to meter, we must multiply by 1000. When convert from meter to decimeter, we multiply it by 10. We multiply decimeter by 10, we change it to centimeter. We multiply centimeter by 10, we change it to millimeter. Okay. Now, we change millimeter to centimeter, we divide it by 10. Why? Because millimeter is smaller than centimeter. So, we must divide it by Okay, we change from centimeter to decimeter, we divide it by 10. 
When it changed from DC meter to meter, we divided by 10. When it changed from meter to kilometer, we divided by 1000. Okay. When it changed from ton to kilogram from greater unit to smaller units, we multiply. So we multiply by 1000. When it changed from kilogram to gram from greater units to smaller units, we multiply by 1000. Okay, when it change from gram to kilogram, we change from smaller units to greater units, so we must now divide it by 1000. When change from kilogram to ton, we divide it by 1000. Okay, liter or cubic decimeter, we multiply it by 1000. When it change to milliliter or cubic centimeter, okay, we multiply it by 1000. When it change or convert, or convert milliliter or cubic centimeter to liter or cubic decimeter, we divide it by 1000. Year, month. When it change from year to month, from greater units to smaller units, we multiply. We multiply by 12 because year equal 12 months. When it change from smaller units to greater units, we divide it by. So from when it change month to year, we divide it by 12. Week equals 7 days when change from week to day. We change from greater units to smaller units. We multiply by 7. When it change from day to week, we divide it by 7. Okay? And then we multiply by 24 to change it to kilowatt. When it change from kilowatt to fat, then we divide it by 24. Okay? When it change from kilowatt to sa, we Multiply by 24. When it change from sahm to kilowatt, we divide it by 24. Day. We multiply by 24 to change to hours. Because they equal 24 hours. From greater units to smaller units, we multiply by 24. Yes. When it change from hours to day, we divided by 24. When we change from hours to minutes, we multiply by 60 because hours greater than minutes. When it change from minutes to hours, we divide it by 60. When we convert minutes to seconds, we multiply by 60 because minutes greater than seconds. So we will multiply it. Okay. When we convert seconds to minutes, we divide it by 60. Okay. Pounds. Pounds equals 100 piastres. So we change pounds to piastres, we multiply by 100. When change piastres to pounds, we divide it by 100. Example number three, remember? To find this, the ratio between two quantities, they must have the same units. Put each of the following ratio in its simplest form. Letter A, 1 by 2 meter to 40 centimeter. First, we look at the greater units. Meter or centimeter? Yes, meter. So, we must know that meter equal 100 centimeter. So we multiply 1.2 by 100 to convert it to centimeter. Okay, 1.2 by 100 equal 120 centimeter to 40 centimeter. Okay, they have the same unit. So in this Step, we slash centimeter. 120 to 40. 120 and 40, they are 
have the same units. Zero, so we divided it by 10. 120 divided by 10 equals 12. 40 divided by 10 equals 4. 12 to 4. Okay. In this time, we divided by 4. Okay. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. The ratio is 3 to 1. Evaluation. Did each of the following ratios in its numbers fall? Letter A, 35 to 40. Letter B, 210 to 900. Letter C, 36 to 54. Letter D, 21 to 49. Letter E, 2.5 to 5.75. Letter F, 2 and 1 fifths. Two, 2 and 3 fifths. Letter G, 2.5 meter to 275 centimeters.